All right, guys, John Statsational Alicia here with another educational video brought to you by the Sharp app and those guys over at the Sports Bet Army. Links to both are down below. Okay, we're going to talk about three way lines, what exactly a three way line is, how do we calculate three way lines, how do we convert a three way line into a two way line. We'll get into all of those details, and hopefully, by the end of this video, you'll understand exactly how they work, how to calculate them, how to look for an edge. All right, first, let's talk about what a three-way line is. The three-way line is a bet in which a push or a tie is actually part of the bet, or it's one of the outcomes that you can bet on. This is going to be seen in sports like soccer, where ties happen frequently, or maybe golf head-to-head -head matchups, where again, it's quite easy to tie. I always think the best way to see these things is to look at them on a spreadsheet and look at a real life situation that's going on right now. Okay, I took this from DraftKings and this is a bet that's happening right now that you can make a wager on in a golf tournament. It's Justin Thomas and Patrick Cantlay. You can make this bet on a three-way line. Now, they don't specifically say three-way line here. They just offer you three different choices. Justin Thomas, minus 134 a tie plus 800 and Patrick Cantlay plus 150. Now you can make a similar bet here where ties are not a bet, where it says tie no bet, that means a two way line or pushes or ties do not lose. Now on that bet, you could take Justin Thomas at minus 167 and Patrick Cantlay at plus 130. Of course, a two-way line is always going to give you shorter odds than a three-way line because the more variables we're adding into the equation, like we are on a three-way line, of course, the longer the odds are going to be because there's more outcomes that beat us. Okay, let's have a look at this spreadsheet now, and we'll start from the top. I'm going to just simply type in over what we saw on the DraftKings book. Justin Thomas minus 134, the tie is 800, and Patrick Cantlay is at plus 150. I also put in the ties push line of minus 167 on Thomas and plus 130 on Cantlay. Now I wanna just convert that into probabilities. If you're unfamiliar with how to do that, check out the links below. I've got videos talking about all of these things. So we're going to get a probability of 57.3% based on the minus 134 line. The tie is 11.1% based on plus 800 and a 40% probability Cantlay wins. Now, if there was no juice, this should equal 100% because one of these three options has to be true. But of course, the sports book is taking their juice. This actually adds up to 108.4%. So they're taking 8.4% of juice on this bet. If we look at DraftKings ties push bet, minus 167 converts to 62.5% and plus 130 converts to 43.5%. percent if we add those together, again, it should be 100% if there was no juice. But as we know, the sports book is taking juice on this. And in this instance, it adds up to 106%. So they're taking just 6% juice on this bet. Now let's take a look at if you had a model and your model was projecting a 50% chance Thomas wins this match outright. There's a 10% chance that they tie and Patrick Cantlay wins this 40% of the time. So that would be the percentages on a three-way. And of course we know this is going to definitely equal 100% or it should, or something is wrong in the model because these are the only three outcomes that can happen. And of course we're not adding juice to this. This is a pure number based on our model. Now, what would be the difference if we took ties out of the equation? Would Justin Thomas or Patrick Cantlay's chances increase because we took tie out of the equation? Well, no they're going to actually be exactly the same. Regardless of whether the ties push or not, we know based on our model that Thomas is going to win this match 50% of the time. 40% of the time, Cantlay is going to win and 10% of the time, there's going to be a tie. Now, for a betting purposes, that 10% tie probability just means the bet never happened. There was no bet. So let's convert that now to what my price would be based on these lines. So I would look at the three-way line as a 50% bet. It's either minus or plus 100. At 10%, you're getting plus 900. And at 40%, it's a plus 150 bet. Now, how would we convert this to a ties push? Now, it's the same 50% and the same 40%. Now, why do I have this at minus 125 and this at plus 125? Well, this is where the calculation differs a little bit. It always helps me if I can visualize the statistics and not get caught up in the actual sport that I'm thinking about. 
I always like to throw marbles in a bag. So if we thought about having five red marbles in a bag with four black marbles, that would be a total of nine marbles in the bag. And if I asked you, what's the probability of picking a red marble, it would be really easy to figure out. You would just figure out five divided by nine, which is 55.6%. And if we put that in terms of odds, that would equate to a minus 125 line. Of course, the reverse of that would be four black out of nine, which would be 44.4% or a plus 125 line. Now, what if we added a yellow marble into the equation? That would be the equivalent of a push or a tie. Well, if we weren't gonna count the yellow at all, every time the yellow got pulled out, this formula does not change. It's still a probability of five divided by nine red marbles. The reason being is we're acting as if the yellow didn't even exist. We could add 20, 30, 100, a million yellow marbles to this bag. It's not going to change the probability of picking either a red or a black. And that's what we're doing when we're betting a two-way line as opposed to the three-way line. On the three-way line, we care about how many yellow marbles are in that bag because picking a yellow marble is a bet. All right, so looking at our numbers, we're gonna try to figure out if we have any edge here. Again, I'm not going to go over in detail on how to calculate this. I'll have links below on other videos where I go into much more detail on figuring out your edge and value on bets. But on this bet, we've got a minus 13% value, obviously because we think this line should be minus 100 and the sports book is giving us minus 134. So it's not a bet that we're terribly interested in. On the tie, we're getting minus 200. We think there's a 10% chance. The sports book's giving us 11.1% chance. So again, a bet that we're not interested in making. Now on the Patrick Cantley, there's actually no edge. So it's a bet I wouldn't typically make, but if our numbers are correct, there's no advantage to either side of this bet. Now let's look at the edge on ties pushing. We've got a minus 11% edge. Again, we don't expect the edge to move all that much off the three-way line because at the same book, it's gonna be unlikely that we're getting much more of an advantage playing it on the three-way line or the ties push line. Of course, there is no edge on tie because tie doesn't have a bet. And then we've got a 2% advantage now on the Patrick Cantlay bet. So if we did wanna take this bet, the only option would be that small edge that we have on Cantlay. But what I hope this exercise shows you is you're gonna to wanna to look at the three-way lines and the ties push lines to see which line may be giving you the best price. These one, two, 3% edges add up over time and you're gonna to wanna to take advantage of that. All right, guys, I hope that was clear. I hope it was understandable and maybe you have to watch it a couple of times to totally get it. But the main points I wanted to get across was exactly what is a three-way line. I know I talk about three-way lines in our Discord chat all the time with the subscribers. And a lot of times the new subscribers don't really know what a three-way line is. They've never heard the term. But as you can see, it's not really anything very complicated. A three-way line is really just what it says it is. It's offering you three different bets on the same event. Usually that's going to be one or the other side to win and then a push or a tie for the third bet. You'll see this in MMA and boxing a lot also because there is a chance and probabilities of draws in those sports. Of course, if you guys have any questions, leave comments down below. I'm happy to answer them and get to them as quickly as I possibly can. And if you like this type of content, do us a favor, subscribe and like these videos. It helps us in the algorithm, also helps me know that these are the type of videos you guys are interested in. So until the next video, good luck and let's make some money.